Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to Storybook Farm in Stardew Valley. It's the third day of spring, and we're going to go and check the television. It's a rainy day outside, as we can see by the dark window. And the weather forecast for tomorrow is for sun. So we'll take advantage of this one day that we don't have to water our crops and we'll get a bunch of fishing in. There are a number of fish that can only be caught when it's rainy. Now, our fishing level is low enough that we'll probably have difficulty with some of those, but we'll give it a good shot. All right, let's see what Wellwick's Oracle has to say for us today. Ah, I sense that a new viewer has joined us, a young lady from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. All right. And I don't need my watering can today. I don't think I'm going to take my pick or my axe with me right now. Check my mail. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Pierre, did you just read my mind, or did you have a hidden camera last night when I was walking home from the mountain lake? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. We can't quite afford that bigger backpack yet, unfortunately. We'll have to wait until we have a little more money. Hang on a moment. I know I said that we were intent on getting enough wood for that bridge repair by the end of the week, but we are actually going to do something else first that is very important. We're going to bring a chest with us. Uh, many people don't realize that you can place chests off of your farm in areas around town or other parts of Stardew Valley where it might be helpful to be able to store things. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. Before we start our day of fishing, we're going to have a quick check for more green onions, but we're going to put a chest down so that if we end up with more fish than we can carry, we don't have to throw them in the trash. Any more onions for us down here? In oh, we have hit the mother load. Seventeen green onions should keep us going for a fair bit of fishing. We even got a gold and a silver star onion, and those actually um, give us quite a bit more energy. The gold star will give us twenty-three energy instead of just thirteen, and the silver star onion will give us eighteen energy really great and I also want to check who else do we need to meet I'd like to finish that quest today as well oh we forgot to stop back into the bar so the people we haven't met yet are all people who will be able to meet almost certainly by going to the bar this evening and um, saying hello I think there's also some villagers who only go to the bar when it's raining um, the one I'm not certain about, did I really go out without my fishing rod? I did. That's what I get for trying to comment and record and think ahead and keep everything in my head that I want to do all at the same time. Apparently my aged brain doesn't have room for all the things I want to keep in it at the moment. I left my fishing rod. Silly. Silly, silly. Well, that killed a little bit of fishing time, but we'll live. All right. You thought you'd hidden from me there, Dandelion, but you were mistaken. I may not be able to remember my fishing rod, but 
I can absolutely spot a hidden dandelion. So I'm going to keep a chest here and the purpose of this chest will be twofold. It will prevent me from having to get rid of any fish that I catch that I can't fit in my inventory. But I'm also going to stock it with gifts for villagers so that I don't have to use inventory space um, if I want to give a present to a villager who happens by and I'm in town. I'll be able to zip over to my chest instead of having to run all the way back to the farm. And in fact, right now, I'm just going to return a few things there. Waiting for the fish to bite. There's Lewis on his way to Marnie's ranch on this wet, drizzly day. I wonder what he's planning to do there. Eyebrows raised. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. More green algae. Hmm. Not terribly impressive. Fishing can be a little bit on the boring side in early game when you're not um, getting bites as frequently as you do later. Once you are able to put bait on your hook, that greatly increases the bite frequency. And um, also once you're able to increase your fishing level, oh my goodness, that is a catfish and I think I already lost it, I wasn't ready. So as your fishing level goes up, the size of the bar that you have to keep the fish in front of also increases and it's a lot easier to catch difficult fish. This will be a smallmouth bass, no problem. Catfish, which I'm fairly certain is what we just missed, only come out on rainy days in, I believe, spring and fall. And usually I can catch one by the end of spring if we get a rainy day toward the end of spring but it's a real stretch to catch one when you're fishing level one. I know it's not impossible, but you definitely have to be on top of it right at the beginning. Because they jump around very rapidly. Yeah, I lost it. You just don't have any margin for error at fishing level one. Your bar is so small. And so when the fish are challenging when they dart about and make rapid moves back and forth. It's very easy to lose any any gains you'd made. Shad, I'm fairly certain, is another one of the rainy day fish. I don't have 100% certainty on that. But um, what I've found is that as long as you make sure that you go fishing on rainy days in every season, you won't have a problem getting all of the different kinds of fish that you need. There are a few fish that only come out when it's sunny. There's several fish that you can only get when it's rainy and um, also fish in a variety of places you get different fish in the river than you do in the ocean you get different fish in the lake than you do in the river that largemouth bass we caught yesterday in, in yesterday's episode can only be found in that um, large mountain lake they sell pretty well although i'm keeping that first one for a reason Boy, my character looks so, so cold and wet, standing there in the rain with her little fishing rod, waiting for the fish to bite. The things we do. Doesn't even have a hat to keep the rain off. At least the bites are coming a little more frequently now. perfect catch and another shad. And 
next cast. We are almost at the deep water there. When we can cast out to the deep water, which won't be much longer, um, we'll be able to get gold star quality fish fairly consistently from this spot just south of Jody's house. It's a favorite fishing spot for the river for me. And then um, up at the mountain lake, I don't have access to my favorite mountain lake fishing spot yet at this point in the gameplay, but it should be open soon. I don't know if I'll do any any lake fishing at all today. I definitely do plan to go and do a little bit of ocean fishing in a moment though. We can sell some fish to Willie too before he closes. There goes Emily. She's heading to the bar for work. Oh, those catfish are, yeah. All right, I'm going to put the broken glasses in there and also my green algae. And then I'm gonna head down to the beach. I'm gonna sell the fish that I've already caught except for one shad to Willie. Get a little bit of cash and do a little bit of ocean fishing. And once I've done that, I am also gonna plan to head to the bar at by about mm, 7 p.m. or so, so I'm only gonna fish for a few more hours. Sebastian comes to stand out on the beach in the rain sometimes. All right, we'll sell the two regular smallmouth bass, the one silver star smallmouth bass, and just two of the shad. Thanks, Willie. Just pop around the counter and say hello. Hi there. It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. I think that's true of a lot of rural places, Willie. The young folk move out, but they... Don't move. Oh, we have bubbles. See the little bubbles there? Can we hit them? Not quite from that position. I'm just going to... You can cast your rod in a curve, but... Ah. There we go. That should do it. There, see the little sparkles? We'll get a lot more bites from this spot just because there's bubbles there. Um, walking around looking for bubbles usually won't help you very much because they just appear randomly around the map, but if you happen to notice them, you'll get bites more frequently in a spot where there are bubbles. And hopefully we've done enough fishing and enough successful fishing today that we'll level up when we go to bed tonight. Sorry, I'm having to concentrate fairly hard on this particular fish since my oh yes eels those are definitely one of those fish that you can only catch in the rain in the ocean and that's why um why we came down here they're also a night only fish they're a little bit tricky at level one though like i said we'll fish until about seven and then we'll go up to the bar see who's there One more. I'm glad we found the bubbles. It gives us several more chances to catch fish than if um, we'd just been waiting for the regular catch cast rate. Since we have a limited amount of time and uh, time pauses while well, you've got the fish on the hook and are trying to secure the catch, but it doesn't pause while you're waiting for the bite. Two herring. Come on, game. Give me more fishies. Hunt the bonny shoals of herring. I don't know if this is another herring, actually. Nope, it's a sardine. Sardine are fairly common. You can catch them, I believe, in all seasons and whether it's raining or not. <laughs> I don't know what this one is, but it definitely wants to stay near the bottom. Another herring. We'll have time for at least one, maybe, maybe two more before we head up to the bar. 
There we go. I think this will be the last one. Oh, it's another eel, I think. Um, one more cast. I know I said that would be the last one, but I don't want to end my fishing on a, a loss if I can help it. Are you another herring? I think you're another herring. Maybe not. You're going up a lot higher than the last one did. Another sardine? Yes. All right, up to the bar we go. I have to meet Gus, the bartender. Emily. I still haven't met Marnie. There's some more bubbles down there, but we're not going to stop for those at the moment. I don't want to be arriving at the bar when everybody's leaving. Hi there, Willie. I need a little warm me up to be ready for another cold night on the ocean. Hmm, this weather makes me thirsty. Hi, Tail Spinner. Uh, read anything interesting in the library lately? I did actually. I read a book on animals by Marnie, and I also read a novice farmer's guide. Maybe those aren't so interesting to you, but they were useful to me. Now we are going to splurge a little bit. Coffee. It smells delicious. This is sure to give you a boost. This is not for us. This is for Harvey. See the little heart that appeared above his head? It's for me? This is my favorite stuff. It's like you read my mind. We are aiming, as I mentioned before, to dance with Harvey at the flower dance. And giving him loved gifts is the only way we're going to meet that goal. This morning I accidentally stepped on a bug. I'm sorry, Leah. You look really distressed about it. <sighs> hey, kid. You're too young to be moping around in a place like this. I'm not moping. I'm visiting. <sighs> Hey, kid, you're too young to be moping around in a place like this. Pam, go home. You're drunk. Just want to check and see. Oh, we didn't get any hearts yet. It's going to be tricky because um, we need at least four hearts with Harvey in order to dance with him, and we don't have very long, much time to do it in. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Straw Drop Saloon. Yes, you just sold me a coffee. Hi there, Tail Spinner. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Oh, you're just going to say the same thing over and over again. And I think we need to meet Emily. <gasps> Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. I certainly intend to. I've come back to it often enough. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Emily? Look around you. Where are we right now? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, Abigail came in because it was a rainy day. We'll say hello to her, too. The valley looks more interesting in the rain, don't you think? Sure. I kind of like the sunny days, but... Uh, hi. I'm Clint. Oh, I thought we'd already met when you gave me furnace blueprints. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Yeah, you mentioned that when you gave me furnace blueprints. <sighs> Just check the trash cans. You never know when you might get something exciting, like a broken CD. Yeah, that wasn't terribly exciting, was it? Oh, well. Nope, nothing interesting there today. All right. I'm going to leave the broken CD in here. I'm going to take with me the red mushroom and the dandelions and the algae. And I'm actually going to eat that algae right now to restore a little bit of energy because before I go to bed, I'm going to chop another tree or two. I'm hoping to at least get enough wood 
to make up for the 50 that I spent on that chest earlier today. And uh, that was a frog sound. I wonder if there's a... any rhyme or reason to some of those background noises. It seems like you get more of the frog sounds in the rain. My goal, as I said before, is to make sure that I have, oh, I was gonna sell those. I really don't need the extras at the moment. I wanna keep my one shad and one sardine, one herring and the eel. I'm also gonna keep the seaweed. I'll sell the other two herrings and the other sardine. Put away the fishing rod, get out my ax. Hang on to the spring onions for energy. Oops, just walking into my chest there, brilliant. down trees, eat green onions, and also green algae. It isn't very tasty, but restores my energy. I am a lumberjack and I am okay. I chop by night and I chop by day, in the sun or in the rain. Until I feel the pain of not having enough energy and needing to eat more green onions. You really want to watch that energy bar. It does give you a warning before you collapse of exhaustion, but collapsing from exhaustion has negative consequences. You want to avoid it. Just keeping an eye on the time also. Um, not only can you collapse if you use all of your energy up, you can also collapse if you stay out past 2 a.m. So we're going to make sure that we heed the first warning the game gives us at midnight and go to bed. At that point, our energy is going to be quite low enough to be getting on with. We're feeling exhausted. It's almost midnight. We're just going to pop some things into our chest. And head to bed. Getting into bed before midnight guarantees that you'll have full energy in the morning even if you ran your energy bar down completely. If you get into bed after midnight there's a chance that you'll only have partial energy in the morning and I'm fairly certain that if you collapse from exhaustion or if you um, stay out until after two and you fall asleep where you stand because your character just got too tired that you will definitely have an energy deficit the next day. So we're gonna go to sleep for the night. We leveled up our fishing, plus one fishing rod proficiency. So our little fishing bar will be that much bigger next time we go out fishing. And we earned 80 gold or 80 Stardew Valley bucks from, uh, I guess we'll call it gold since it is G, guilders, guineas. Um, and 100 from our herrings and sardines. They don't sell for a whole lot individually, but every little bit adds up doesn't quite make up for the coffee we bought for Harvey, but uh, there was a, a good reason for that. And we did uh, sell some fish to Willie earlier as well. So day three is over and it's now day four. The game is saving our progress. And this is where we'll end our episode. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll join me again next time. Do take care.